Look how shiny and luscious and gorgeous oh, this edition is. I mean, I love it. I have to be honest here and say this is the second time that I read this book. And honestly, I enjoy it way better the second time. Because in the first uh, in the first read that I did, I was more centered in the who do it aspect of the book. I wanted to know who had killed um, Miss Bell, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I did solve part of the mystery, and I was very happy with it. But uh, this book has a lot of nuances, which I kind of perceive, but they were like behind the mystery of the disappearance of this girl and. Yeah, I mean, I needed to have this uh, second read uh, to appreciate everything better. So what we have here, we have this girl called Pip, and she has to make this project uh, for the school. And she decides that she wants uh, to revisit uh, this killing that happened like five years ago, in which a girl called Asadi, Asadi? Andy, <laughs> I was so excited, no, uh, called Andy Bell, uh, she disappeared and everyone, uh, well, the police and everyone did an investigation and ended up blaming, blaming her boyfriend and it looks like uh, her boyfriend decided to off himself and everyone has been uh, signaling this family uh, as the guilty party. But she feels that something is not right because she knew um, the boyfriend, she knew Sal. And he was this kind guy and Pip feels like he wasn't the one to commit the crime. So she's going to use this excuse of this project that she has to do for school in order to try to solve the mystery. And the first thing she does in the book when we began the book is go to uh, the house of the sinks. And she met the brother of Sal, uh, called Ravi, and she tells him that she is going to make this investigation because she doesn't think that her brother, his brother, sorry, is guilty of the crime. And she wants to kind of clear his name. And yeah, she's going to be investigating, she's going to be making interviews. And I love the way in which the book is written because you have it written and then you have these little parts in which, oh, let me show you if I find some of them. You have these little reports and things uh, intercepted in the book. And for me, it was amazing to read this kind of book, written like that. And you have production logs. Uh, different entries, you have interviews, and I think it felt very dynamic when you were reading it. And also, as I said, there's a lot of nuances in this book. Uh, we are going to be uh, learning about um, prejudice, because all the town accepts that Sal Singh was the guilty party, and it's kind of easy for them, because they are foreigners, they are Indian, they seem like the brown guys. And there's moments in which, and during the investigation, in which they are doing some things. And Ravi tells Pip, if we get caught, I'm going to be in more danger than you because I am the brown guy. And everyone is going to judge me more harshly than you, which, you know, she's white. But she's kind of aware. In that moment, she says, I'm sorry. And she kind of says, Oh man, I messed up. I didn't realize. She's very aware of race and skin color because her stepdad, which she calls dad, it's a black guy. And sometimes when she goes to school to pick up her brother, people look at her like, you're white, he's black. So she knows all of that. But sometimes even she sleeps. And it's great that she does because then you learn with her. And I love when we have this kind of books that makes you think about the different ways in which people are treated, depending on their skin tone or the way the language they talk and the way they look, the way they're dressed and everything. And I think it's very important that we have this kind of rules that bring awareness and that make you think about slips that you may do without you know, realizing that you're doing. And I love that. I also love that um, I'm not going to be talking very much about this book because I don't want to make any kind of a spoiler about the investigation and about who really was a guilty party. But 
Uh, I love also that we have uh, this character, this girl who died, and everyone puts her in a pedestal in this town. She died very young, uh, she was killed by this evil boyfriend that she had, and everyone has this angelic uh, version of her. And when Pete begins to do, do interviews and to discover more and more about her, we began to realize that she wasn't so great. And I love that we have this white person put into the spotlight um, in the way that it is in this book. There's lots of amazing things in this book. I love the plot, as I said. I love all the different nuances about religion, about skin color, about uh, being a bad person, having everything. You can have lots of money, you can have lots of power and still be an ass. Uh, you uh, sometimes, uh, it talks about upbringing. I love the ending, which I'm not going to say anything about, but I love the reflection that Pip brings to the to the front about how sometimes upbringing uh, can affect how a person turns out to be and sometimes a gentle word or a hook or, you know, having people who care about you can make all the change. And... I love that we have this main character who's like a regular girl. Uh, she's a very, uh, she loves to study. She loves to do her homework. She's an amazing character. And I love to have this girl who's like a normal girl. She doesn't have any superpower. She's just brilliant. She loves studying. And she has this mission in her head that she wants to clear the name of this person that she believes it's innocent. I love the way in which the book is written. I love to have these little entry logs and these little interviews and everything because it puts you into place. It feels like you are studying the, the crime scene with her as she goes along. I love her as a main character with her flaws, with her abilities and with her way of trudging, you know, doing everything I want to solve this mystery. And I also love that she's human and that she can feel fear and she can feel things. Um... I love the relationship that she has with different characters, how she presents her findings in a way that's more or less neutral, but also she tells us how she feels about different people and her friends and everyone. I love how human she is, but for me she's perfect in all her imperfections. When I say she's perfect in all her imperfections, I mean that for me she's very human and com comes across as a very likable and believ believable character. You believe that she's able to do all the things that she does. And I do love the relationship between Robin and her, and I loved, I love everything about this book. So if you love who do it with uh, some things, nuances that make you think about, as I say, uh, people in power, uh, people in control, people who have everything, people who have had like bad upbringings, people who have different skin colors, different religions, different things, about how easy it is sometimes to point a finger towards someone because everyone is doing so and you need to take a step back and think about what you're doing and, you know, draw your own conclusions. About how sometimes having a person that looks great on the outside makes you think that she's great in the inside and you can see that no, no. And yeah, there's lots of things. I am not going to spoil any more of this book for you. So you have to pick it up and read it and love it because you will. Thank you for watching. Bye.